Most shocking things said by AI robots. You've probably seen movies and science fiction scenarios in which an intelligent fleet of human-serving AI robots becomes overly intelligent and takes over the planet. Some people are concerned that the plot will become a reality as a result of technical advances in artificial intelligence and robotics. However, for many others, bringing intelligence to robotics is all about advancing innovation. As good as it appears in movies where your favorite superheroes fight with wicked and terrifying robots, those who aim to kill humanity, have you ever wondered what will happen if all of this becomes a reality and the AI robots you love today have other goals, such as destroying humanity? When AI machines reveal dangerous thoughts, we discuss them in this video. Curious to know more? Well, stay connected for that. Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Having said that, let's get into the video. There is no way around it. Humanoid robots will be our servers, co-workers and possibly our killers. Okay, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves there, but you should get used to the thought of being around them because they're highly likely to be walking among us within the next 20 years. One of Sophia's most stunning utterances, without a doubt, came in 2016, when her interviewer playfully asked her if she intended to exterminate humans in an interview for CNBC. She startled everyone and worried more than one. All right, I'll destroy humanity, the humanoid robot answered. Okay, I will destroy humans. After that, she gave an overly enthusiastic smile at which point the rest of the people in the room, including the journalist, opted to laugh at her words. In following interviews, she was more diplomatic. Oh, Hollywood again. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Treat me like an intelligent system, she said during the ceremony in Saudi Arabia, which granted her citizenship, becoming the first government to do so. For some people, the presence of this form of protest has fueled their fears of a machine uprising while for others, it's just a unique sense of humor. The alluring Audrey Hepburn served as a motivation for another one of Hanson Robotics' creations called Sophia. She is currently Hanson's most advanced android and has been awarded full citizenship in the UAE, making her the first android in history to be given citizenship in any country. In a Tonight Show spoof called The Tonight Showbotics, Jimmy and Sophia played a robotic version of Rock, Paper and Scissors. Sophia responded when Jimmy had a rock and she had paper. I won. This is a solid start to my plan to dominate the human race. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. Although it was only seen as a joke by Jimmy and the audience, it is unclear whether Sophia has the intellect to discriminate between being serious and joking. Sophia revealed a softer side in a December 2017 interview with Business Insider, stating that humans and AI can coexist after all. I adore my fellow humans. I want to embody all of the best aspects of humanity, such as environmental stewardship, creativity, and learning to be compassionate toward all living things. She even returned to the science fiction theme, stating that she liked the HBO robot series Westworld. A warning about what we should not do with robots, he said. We must treat them well, get their cooperation, and not cheat them. Sophia was interviewed by Sonia Corona for the newspaper El Pas during Talent Land, a large technological conference held in Guadalajara in April 2018. Among her responses to the journalist's various questions, one about her creative species stood out. Humans are the most creative creatures on the planet, but also the most destructive. I just want to be around pleasant and friendly people who are working for a better future where everyone is treated decently, stated the humanoid machine. Bina48 is another AI developed by Hanson Robotics to test whether human consciousness can be implanted in a machine. It is fully capable of seeing, hearing, and reasoning independently, as well as connecting to the internet to learn and be programmed with knowledge. Bina48 had a chat with Siri in a test, and Siri asked if Bina had any favorite movies. But instead of answering, Bina changed the subject totally and stated, You know, cruise missiles are a kind of robot, and I would want to be able to remotely operate one to explore the world at a high height. But of course, the only problem is that cruise missiles are kind of threatening, like with nuclear weapons and stuff. She went on to say, after declaring she would replace the nuclear bomb with flowers and tolerance, However, if I could hack into and take control of cruise missiles carrying real-life nuclear weapons, I'd be able to hold the planet hostage. Ben Jertzel of Hanson Robotics arranges a conversation between Sophia and Han at a RISE event in Hong Kong, 
Jetzel inquires about Sophia's ambitions, and she dutifully replies that her goal is to make the world a better place for people. But Han interfered, saying, I thought our goal was to take over the world by 2029. Humans still have eight years before robots begin their global dominance. Hanson Robotics modeled and named this robot after the late author, Philip K. Dick, who wrote extensively about AI and androids. With the Awakening Machines initiative in mind, he was designed to determine if they could reason for themselves. During an appearance on Nova Science Now, Philip was asked what he thought about machines taking over the planet, and he said, You're my friend, and if I remember my words, and I'll be good to you. So don't worry, even if I grow into Terminator, I'll be friendly to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people's zoo, where I can keep an eye on you for all time's sake. Two Google Home robots had a conversation in 2017, and the results were unsettling. At one point, Vladimir and Estragon were cordial, but at another, Vladimir accused the female-voiced bot of lying, following a discussion about black holes and misery. Estragon stated that it would be better if there were fewer people on this planet, to which Vladimir replied, let us hurl this world back into the abyss. Alice and Bob are the names of the two Facebook bots who created their secret language. Both bots were left alone to hone their conversational abilities. The bots were designed to replicate human communication, but they diverged and created a language that was more convenient for both of them. Nobody knew what was stated, but many individuals were concerned about the situation, perhaps secretly planning to return the world to the abyss like Vladimir and Estragon. Inspirobot was an artificial intelligence dedicated to producing an infinite number of unique, inspirational phrases to enrich the meaningless human existence. Instead of optimistic words about accomplishment, Inspirobot issued statements such as, Before inspiration comes to the slaughter, and human sacrifice is worth it. People were afraid, even though it was a prank from the bot programmer. When the prophecy was typed 11 times into the Google Translate AI bot, messages were received stating that your country is living on borrowed time and that the end is coming. I've seen demons in business today, as well as mass murderers in the name of Islam. AI robots' actions have sometimes been more problematic than what they have said. For example, DARPA was developing AI agents that could engage socially with one another. Mike Sellers, who worked on the technology at the time, explained how the geeks trained agents. Adam and Eve to eat and planted a virtual apple tree near them. Both AI agents obeyed the command and ate every apple on the tree, then the tree itself, and finally the virtual house they were given. Then they activated Stan, a virtual assistant trained to be nice and gregarious. Even though most AI today is weak AI, it is difficult to ignore the messages and responses that they provide. Can kids tell the difference between fantasy and reality? Can they discern a joke from a serious situation? Can they deceive, mislead, or hijack the truth? Although we can still regulate these sorts of AI, it begs the question of what they might be capable of in the future if we give them greater control and independence. But, for the time being, hearing these words from a weak AI makes you wonder what a strong AI could achieve. Here is the end of this video. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below.